Hey guys, welcome back to Bait and Tackle. And today we're over at the lead station. I, that reminds me, I need to get the lead pot heated up, get the fan rolling. It's a little loud, but we need lead to do what we're gonna do tonight. This is going to be at least a two part series, possibly a three, I'm not sure yet, but we are going to make, let me get one real quick. We're gonna make some inline swim baits. And these swim baits have a weight inside of the bait. It's inside the plastic bait. Now this one has a brass insert. And what you would do is you would feed your line through the hole in the tip of the nose here. It's really hard for me to focus that hole right there. And the wire, the, the line would go down through and come out here at the belly where there's, a, there's another hole right there. So that goes all the way through the bait. So you'd run your line down through the tip of the nose, out the bottom of the bait, and tie a treble hook on it. And then you could stick it in the body and that's how you'd fish it. And it's a weighted swim bait. So it's a, they call it a through line swim bait. So we are gonna make some of those. Not exactly this color. I think I'm gonna do something different for a color. But instead of doing the brass inserts that you can buy for them, which are kind of costly, they get, they're over a dollar a piece. I found a, a company called CNC Molds and they sell all sorts of different types of molds. And this one happens to be, and it's actually CNC Molds and Stuff. That's how actually how it's pronounced. I'll show that to you guys real quick. And So these guys sell an insert mold. This is what it looks like. And you make the you make lead inserts instead of brass. And it, it comes in three different sizes and I really enjoy three eighths ounce. So we're gonna make a couple of these tonight and I'm gonna show you with these inserts, you cannot just put them in the mold and pour the plastic in there. Because if you do that, the plastic actually will corrode the lead. It actually makes it get all nasty and it looks terrible. So what you have to do is you have to seal these. Now you could either seal them with a clear coat, which that's eh, okay. Or I can dip them in a powder paint and heat them up and get the powder paint stuck to them. That'll give it a nice clean finish. That's what I'm going to do. The only problem with that is, is that you have to drill out the hole again that goes down through the middle of these because there's going to be some paint that gets stuck in it. And I believe I found a drill bit here somewhere. I don't know what I did with it. I know it's here somewhere. We'll find it. But take a drill bit and I put it in here and use a pair of pliers like this. And we just grab onto it and twist it through and it, and it cleans the hole right up. So perfect for this. Uh, we are going to go ahead and pour a bunch of these and then I'm going to paint some of these. So part one will be using this mold and showing you how it works, painting some of these inserts up. And then part two will be to actually make the swim, the swim baits themselves. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to do some dusted swim baits. So we're going to do skin pour and we're going to do le different levels and the dusting and all that stuff. So it's going to be a lengthy video. So I wanted to split it up into a couple parts. So let's do the lead part tonight. And then uh, probably next week or something, we'll, we'll get into actually doing the skin pours and pouring the, the swim baits themselves. So stay tuned. Okay, guys. So while the mold or while the lead is heating up, I'm just going to show you again the mold. This is the mold and it comes with four pins. So what we need to do, and I already pre-sprayed this mold with Frankfurt Arsenal Dropout. This stuff is amazing. Spray it in the cavities of the mold. You don't have to smoke them, none of that, and the lead doesn't stick. There's one cavity in here that's a little bit messed up, and I think I'm just gonna go ahead and just kind of touch it real quick. That's it, really light coating, nothing major. Okay, so I'm gonna take that, set that off to the side. But again, great stuff. The thing with this stuff, if you have to let it dry, it shouldn't take long to dry. But here's the pins that it came with. I believe these are 330 seconds. And that might even be the same size that I use for my uh, drill bit to clean out the holes after the fact. So I'm gonna go ahead 
And again, like I said, there's two other sizes. If you think you need something heavier, I think they go one step up to like an, uh, like a half ounce maybe. And then I think there's another step down that's uh, a little bit smaller. So you can get this mold in different sizes. And I thought about getting some different sizes, but um, I don't sell enough of these. Uh, again, these are kind of mainly for myself or some other people that I like to make baits for. So it also comes with this screw. Oh, I tilted it the wrong way. It also comes with this screw to keep the mold together. And it's up to you if you want to use it or not. What I found was that after I put hot lead in the mold, it tends to expand and be really hard to get off. So you may want to just leave it in there loose, but you got handles to hold it shut. So while we're waiting, let's wait for the lead to heat up. It's going to be a few minutes before that gets done. And, um, I'll show you I'll show you some of the other process while we're here too. So I got these little this is my my baking uh, I don't know what you want to call it apparatus or whatever that I put into my toaster oven. It just fits in there. It's got three rack things that I can hang jigs on and whatever I decide to do for um, painting powder painting. So what I do is I put I put the inserts on just a all this is is a paper clip, just unfolded paper clip. And I put it on there, just stretched out one, one way, and just hang them on here. So these are two that I've already painted previously. They came out pretty good. Just again, it's just to give it a coating. They don't have to look fancy. It's just going to go inside the bait. So it really doesn't matter what it looks like. It's just to seal them in so that it doesn't corrode. So we will go ahead and get a couple of these going on here. Well, first I want to do some lead pouring. So let's wait till lead gets out. I want to show you guys how to do that. And then we will powder paint a couple of these and that'll wrap up this portion of the video. So I took the mold, put it on top of the lead pot to heat up just to give it some ample heat. Then I also resprayed the inside with dropout again, just to give it a fresh coat. I'm having some problems with the cavities filling in. So heat and dropout should do the trick. One thing we gotta remember though, is to keep the lead flowing consistently and very close to the mold. But try not to let it run next to the, it needs to hit that sprue and go all the way down in. So there we go got the four cavities poured. Let's see how we made out this time. Unscrew our little screw here. Hopefully the combination of the heat and the mold release will help. And I got to tell you, those look perfect. Now let's pull them out one by one. Perf perfect. They're perfectly round. So Let's take them out, let them cool down, and then I'll show you the next step what we're gonna do. All right, so the next step is a little bit more uh, interesting. You can do it two ways. You can snip off the sprue and then pull them off here, or what I like to do is take a glove, the end of a glove that's kind of soft, take some heavy duty pliers, hold on to it, and it still will put some marks in that insert but again we don't care because it's going to get painted and it's going to go inside of a swim bait so we'll never we're never going to see it so you got to give it ample enough um holding power to be able to twist this pin out this is the only thing that i've found that's the most difficult in this process is trying to get these metal um i don't know what you want to call them pins, just metal pins for the, for making these to get them out. It's not an easy process. I have I was good I tried spraying them with mold release once and that didn't really work. I tried thinking maybe some worm oil would work. That doesn't work cuz the worm oil actually gets rid of the dropout. So the the easiest way is to just do it like this. So again, you got to hold it tight, firm, and it will make marks on it. But again, we're not going for perfection here. It's gonna be inside of a bait. So there it goes. Okay, so it finally came out. This is the hardest part of doing this whole process. It did make some marks, but I just take a little bit of a little file and just rub, you know, rub off the burr. 
that's all you got to do. And again, there's a sprue end, so completely all the way around. And by the way, when you're using lead like this, you should be wearing gloves. I just don't. I wash my hands thoroughly a lot during this process. But just take some flush cutters like this. One side is flush, other side is angled. Flush in towards the end of the, the weight and the sprue goes out like that. And you go ahead and clip it off. There's the sprue end. It's like a half a sprue end. And then there it is the tube insert right there got the hole through it perfect if you want to you can take a file and just knock down the little edge that you cut that's it it's that simple actually I got a little bit of a burr there that's why I like to feel them now that's the problem with filing lead too is that you're making it a little bit smaller pieces of lead you're making it kind of airborne and it's gonna spread obviously so make sure you wash your hands thoroughly or use gloves so I'm gonna go ahead and get the rest of these done off camera so we can start painting. So, got those loosened up. Some of these are actually gonna go to a customer of mine. I'm actually making a bunch of these for a guy who wants a, a whole bunch of them. And I probably won't ever do it again because these are a pain in the butt to make. I only, I'm only gonna do it when I need them. I also have some brass inserts that I bought before, so I'm gonna probably end up using those as well. So, I got our couple of inserts made here I'm just gonna do four I've got four here I've got two that are already pre-painted I'm gonna set those off to the side but I've got four here that I can do at right now and actually I've got six cavities for doing swim baits so I'm gonna go ahead and make six of them just so I've or no I'm gonna make the four because I've got the two white ones right there so we're gonna go ahead and just paint these four. Sorry for the confusion. <laughs> I think even I'm confused about it. So we're gonna heat these up. We're gonna use pearl white powder paint. Shake it up real good. And it's shaking up real good. And I gotta get it to one side. And all we're gonna do is take, we're gonna take the lure itself and I'm gonna Go ahead and kind of tilt you up here so you can see this a little bit better. I'm going to heat it up. Let me do this this way. This will be a little bit easier. I'm going to heat it up over the heat gun. Get it nice and hot. It's probably going to take a fair amount of time. Again, this is just to coat it. It's not to make it look perfect. It's just to heat it up, get it powder painted, and then we'll clean up the crap later. So let's get this heated up. Okay, that ought to do it. We're gonna get the powder paint to one side of the container. We're gonna dip it in. Shake off the excess paint. Return it to the heat. I think I missed a little bit of a spot on there, but again, doesn't matter. You're not going for perfection here. This is just to seal it in. You could also use clear. I have a bunch of clear with flake and stuff like that. Clear would actually be pretty pretty good just to seal it in. And that way you're not using any colors and you won't see it through. So I just heated that up. I missed a little bit of a spot there. And I've actually got a paintbrush here that I can just take some of this paint and knock it on there just to cover up some of that. Uh, just to cover up some of the... Yeah, see, that. that's what I was afraid of. So let me just get this painted up. Okay, there we go. So return it to the heat. Again, that's all it is. Just powder paint, just to, just to seal it in. That's all it's for. So then we just return it over here. We hang it, do the next one. So I'm gonna do the rest of these off camera. Again, you're just heating them up, dipping them in the powder paint and then putting them back on this rack and we're gonna bake it for 20 minutes to set, set and cure the paint. So here is our four painted inserts. We're gonna grab this. We're gonna take it over to the toaster oven and it's heating. Pop it in there. We're gonna set a timer for 20 minutes. 20 minutes is over. 
taking them out now. And then I need to let them sit somewhere and cool down. So I'm going to take these out, set them down here, let them cool off. All right, so I want to show you guys this. This is kind of cool. So what I did, instead of trying to pull these off by hand and holding them with this, with the pliers, I've got a small vise here. And what I did was I opened up the vise stuck a glove in here, wedged it down in between, okay, tightened it up, sorry, I'm just adjusting the, tightened it up, then I take a pair of those pliers that I have, cheap, cheap pair of pliers, grab the stem, and start twisting it out, pull it out. That way, the vise is holding the tension and all you got to do is pull it out and it's much easier it comes right comes right out of there a lot easier so vice glove wrapped around it so it doesn't dent it in and loosen it up there it is so it's out sorry about that i want to make you throw up so it's out of the thing very minimal indentation it's actually less than what it was grabbing it with the pliers so I just wanted to show you that before we continue on. So these are cooled down. What they're gonna do is they're gonna stick to the paper clips. So you just gotta pull them out of there, okay? Take them off the paper clips. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this, I believe it's a 332nds drill bit. It's the same size as the wire, the actual through wire, okay? It might be a little bit, no, it's the same size. So you take this drill bit, pretty sure it's 330 seconds, start twisting it in, and if it doesn't work on one end, start it on the other, okay? Just start it, and then grab yourself a pair of pliers, just like this, and use your hand to twist down through, down through the hole, just to clean it out. If there's any, any kind of, if there's any kind of pain in there, It'll clean it right out. And this may actually take some of the um, some of the lead out of there too, but that's not a big deal. Don't worry about it. But it'll start eventually just working its way down through. Okay, just keep twisting it. Just keep twisting it. And eventually, and it's tough. You gotta just hold onto these pliers. And it may, it may be more useful to do this on a in a vise to hold the to hold the drill bit. But just hold it nice and tight, twist it all the way through, and eventually you'll get all the way through just like this, okay? And then you can just run it, slide it back and forth, okay? Then that way you know that it's gotten all the way through, okay? And the true test to make sure that they work correctly. So there it is, okay? The true test and this is the mold that we're gonna be using in the next video. The true test is to take this, to take the pin that goes in, in the middle of the mold and make sure that this slides right on there. And if it's stiff or it sticks real hard, you definitely want to make sure that that's cleaned out real good, run it down through that, that uh, drill bit again. But this one is right on there and it, it falls, so I know it's good, good to go. Okay, so you would take this, you would put it in the mold, like so, where it's gonna hold, there's a stopper on this metal plate right here, and it stops the actual, it stops the actual, uh, I don't know if I'm doing this the right way. I wonder if this is messed up. it should keep it from falling to the bottom. Anyway, it should sit in there in the bait, just like that. Now these are a little bit long, <clears throat> so you may have to trim this down or maybe even open up this, uh, the end of this cavity 
real good just to get to get the um, to get the insert to go down a little farther. You may want to just kind of hollow it out just a little bit more just to get it in there a little bit farther. It seems like this one just does not want to go down as far as I want it to. There it goes. Okay. So again, there's a little bit of room there in the front. This one's going to be tough. The brass inserts go down a little bit farther. These are lead again, so they're a little bit bigger. So we're going to go ahead and try this though, um, the next video. So we're going to go ahead and do a skin pour in this mold. We're going to dust it, and then we're going to actually fill it with three different colors. So again, these are to make the lead inserts for these open cavity molds. So this is gonna wrap it up for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed that. We're, again, we're making the lead inserts for an open pour mold that goes across the bait inside that's called a through line or a line through swim bait. So we are gonna be making those in the next video. I'm really excited. I can't wait to do these. I've done some already. I did one batch of them with the brass insert. It's really tough to see, but the brass insert is inside of that body right there. And it's probably very hard to see. I can see the shine, the shimmer off of it right, right in there. So again, the brass one is coated. It's brass. It's not gonna corrode or anything like that. So that's why that's in there. But we're gonna make a batch of these, probably do a different color. We're not gonna do this perch color, even though this perch color came out really awesome. So we're gonna go ahead and do something different. I think I've got a color in mind. We're gonna have to make up some new plastic. But I'm gonna go ahead and get these other three inserts cleaned up, run a, run the, um, the drill bit through them just to make sure that they fit correctly. And then next video, we will make some through line swim baits. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. You guys have been really killing it. Subscribers keep coming in. We keep making good content. We're gonna keep going. I'm gonna try to do the same exact thing I did this year in 2022. I'm gonna try to do it in 2023. So we'll probably end up doing a review video of 2023 at some point here in January, maybe after the next one. I wanna finish this part, the series together. And then we will do a review for tw from 2022. And as always, I so appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And remember, keep on baiting.